Gallo out goes Sam Todd and Patrick McElhenney from the win against uh, Dundalk and it's gone out to the right wing cross comes in Go. and it's headed in by Danny Mullen there we go it was a quick switch a quick switch a play by Diallo out wide and the ball into the box and Mullen just finds himself in that little bit of space and it's an easy free header from close range and there you have the lead inside two minutes it's going to be really really difficult here for UCD because it was you just seen how quick they cut them apart, uh, apart when they played the ball just just from inside the UCD half diagonal ball across and then straight into the box and head bang into the back of the net so it's going to be really difficult for UCD and Derry, Derry looked threatening early on you can see Derry are well up for it they're, they're right on pace you could see even in the warm up how much um, Rory Higgins sort of had his team uh, rallied and ready to go well, uh, the record victory of Derry over UCD was 7-0 in the Brandywell some years ago. We could see that equaled here tonight or possibly even beaten. So it, was, it was just, you could just look out how, how easy they got, got past Evan Ozam on the, on the left flank. Sort of, he cut, cut back down him at the other way and, and, and he just mm. dinked into the box. Sort of see that there with Keeney, the way he takes a moment before deciding not to go along as they go along here. Norris now on the edge of the penalty area. Norris with a shot. Oh. And he wasn't far away, just past uh, Brian Maher's left-hand post. Lovely control there from Norris, but uh, if you're at Derry City viewpoint, you're, you're sort of wondering how how he was able to control the ball so well, so well there with his foot, you know, getting in behind and attempted to attack when he cuts back. UCD used used stood up tall. Brendan Barr comes onto the ball now, sends it towards Kids of the Bishop at the edge of the box. Kids of the Bishop shoots. Oh. Maher made a good save, but at the expense of a corner kick. It's the only place. He, it's the only place. He, if he didn't hit it, he goes either side and Maher scores. He went straight at the, at the goalkeeper. It was a lovely ball from Barr and got through, got past the defender who slid for the slid for the ball, but he just has to go either side of the goalkeeper. I think by going straight towards him, Maher was Maher stood up tall, well, and, and, and pushed it away. There you'd be, there you'd be happy if, if UCD are just going to play them random balls into the box where there's no one there. Yeah, I mean, that's giving away possession Lovely cheaply ball. when you don't have that much possession to start with is probably something that will annoy the management of UCD oh, greatly. Oh, what a goal! What a goal, Will Patching. It all come again from a, a switch ball, a switch ball from the Allow out to out McMullen again. Ball into the box and Will Patching, cool as you like. Flicks it over the head of Brian Mar uh, 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 over the head of Lurkin Healy and into the top corner. Well, we can now say safely that the three points are heading to the Brandywell because the, given the uh, lack of goals scored by UCD this season, I can't see them getting more than one. Just look at his reaction to when he actually hits it. Like, it's a lovely ball out. First touch from McMullen. Takes a second touch, then looks to go at him. As Am sort of steps off and just comes to patch and patch first time, loops it over the goalkeeper's head and Sails into the back, sails into the back of the net. Um, the only question you sort of ask is, just in terms of, they were gone Healy, before the leaving results, I hate, I hate results to, came out. I hate, I hate to say this, and I'll wait. We'll wait until Ben Doherty, Ben Doherty, this attack with Ben Doherty on the, right, the left flank, lovely ball into the box there. Go, three 0 and that's it. Game over. That was Brandon Kavanagh who you said you'd like to see in a more advanced position, and he proved you right. It's just, it's just the ball out wide, low ball into the crowd, into the box. Kavanagh just comes, bang, 3-0. Happy days from a Derry, Derry City viewpoint. It's easy as they like. Nick, you just look, he darted so much space, balls allowed to bounce in the box, and Kavanagh's touch just sort of puts it right past Healy, and... The question now is, from a Derry City viewpoint, is how many will they score? Yeah, it gets back to my... And it, there is actually going to be a third substitute introduced for UCD, oh, but actually, that is the ball. second. Patching now for Derry oh, on the goal. edge of the box. What and a, what that's a, the fourth. What a goal. What a pass from, Mac, from Mac, uh, McMullen. He just picked it out. A lovely touch. And Patching just says, thank you very much. And... Cooley slots it into the far corner. What a finish. It's just... Just making it look so easy at times. Just finds a bit of space. Two, two players there. And Patton just takes a touch. Second touch, left foot. Curls it past the, past the keeper into the far corner. It all comes from that ball from... McMullen. Brandon Kavanagh sort of... doesn't see who he there, takes off as... Patching again, like he just how much confidence is he playing with there at the minute? You know, he's just 
he just looks as though someone who can is going to pull another string out of a hat here as he nicks, nicks possession. Well, this in a sense is... Oh, what a goal. Another yeah. goal. Brandon Kavanagh this time off the layoff from Patching. Patching robs, robs possession, just lays it off to Brandon Kavanagh. And Kavanagh fires home for a second of the game. It's, is, is one of them going to come off? Is it going to be a case of who gets the hat-trick first? Or will we see one of them coming off here? Is it... It looks as though the first substitution coming off for you, coming off as Adam O'Reilly going to be the first player replaced by Patrick McElhenney. <laughs> like, doesn't get any easier than that. And then Danny Danny Mullen coming off, so the first goal scorer. Like, well, he's not on for a hat trick anyway. In fairness, so he can't complain about you know being taken off because he was yeah. nowhere near his hat trick. It was a really slack pass there. Nice like corner, he, he was now. They're both smashing footballers. Yeah. And they're both from this neck of the woods, Dublinish, I think, as well. Another little ball in from Mike Mullen and a little audacious little flick from McIniff. Just didn't come off for him, but it was a good play from from Derry coming out from the from the other flank. Then it goes to Mike Mullen, low ball in and four points. Nice and idea. Uh, it's uh, it's a good position for them to be in. I'd say if you'd offered uh, Rory Higgins this position a week ago, after this. Um, game he would have accepted it yeah absolutely he's, he's, he'll be extremely happy and the Derry faithful who have made the trip down to, to, to Dublin will be happy as well 